he felt him, he's not in trouble, that's for sure. More body shots right on the border from Garcia. Murray protect. This was not a uh, good fight. But I'm Teach Through Controversy. This is Teach Through Controversy Live. Um, originally, it was supposed to be Billy Joe Saunders versus Martin Murray. It was supposed to happen back in April, right? Right now, it's uh, June the 23rd. Uh, 2018, 10.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This fight, this card was over um, about four hours or so ago. But, you know, I had to take a nap because I was up early this morning, so I had to catch the fight on YouTube and not live. But the story is, uh, it was supposed to be Martin Murray, well, Billy Joe Saunders defending his WBO title against Martin Murray. The fight was supposed to originally happen in April, correct? Billy Joe Saunders pulled out because of an injury. A lot of people were kind of saying, you know, maybe he can get the uh, he's going to get the Canelo fight. I didn't think so. Or the uh, Golovkin fight. Um, then it was supposed to happen today. And Billy Joe Saunders had pulled out of the fight and basically said it was an injury, but also a business, a business move. Now we're hearing that it's supposed to be announced soon or that it's in the works that Billy Joe Saunders is going to be moving to 168 to fight uh, James DeGale for his IBF title. So let's stick to Martin Murray. Martin Murray right now is at a point in time in his career. Here, let's go look at it. Where's he at? Let's go look at it. Where every fight means something, not only financially to secure him and his family's future because he's at the, he's at the end, but it's not likely that he'll ever be a world champion again. Let's really, really keep it real. 37, 4, and 1 with uh, 17 KOs, 35 years old. Also, take note that he can't fight in the States. I had learned that at the um, Hopkins Kovalev press conference years back. But, you know, he tried his little stint at 168 pounds. You know, it did not work out losing to um, Arthur Abraham and George Groves. You may remember that back in 2013, this was supposed to be the biggest one of his career. He fought Sergio Martinez after Sergio Martinez had fought uh, Chavez Jr. And basically, even though Sergio Martinez was injured and was never the same after this or never the same after the Chavez fight, still, I think Martin Murray should have won this fight. But of course, because it was in Argentina and it was Sergio Martinez's uh, homecoming, a stadium fight, in fact, um, Sergio Martinez got a gift decision. So here he is, you know, um, moving around, maneuvering himself to stay in place to get a WBC title shot. At this point in time, Miguel Cotto goes on to beat Sergio Martinez. Then he fights Canelo, but then drops his belt. Canelo, I mean, don't pay the sanctioning fee. Canelo gets it. Then you have um, Golovkin who has to take on Martin Murray because Martin Murray is the next mandatory in line. So Golovkin at that point in time was trying to get his hands on that hot potato WBC title, but, you know, was getting a run around with Canelo and Golovkin. I mean, uh, Canelo and uh, Cotto. So the next logical option was him versus Martin Murray down in uh, Monte Carlo. At that point in time, Martin Murray was known to be the only person to ever go past nine rounds if i'm correct it went to 11 but i believe it was at that point nobody had ever went past nine rounds with golovkin he took a little bit of time off as you can see as you can see and then you know he debuted you know pretty much at 168 pounds you know a little bit over but that was just you know to get you know the right fights and everything like that Lost to Arthur Abraham in a good fight. And then George Groves, he was just was completely outclassed. People were like, yeah, Martin Murray is done. And then he goes on to fight Gabriel Rosado in a fight that had a nice little amount of buzz around it, even though it was controversial. And he's back down, you know, um, um, at 160 fighting Roberto Garcia, who, by the way, is a 147-pound uh, fighter. So surprisingly enough, Martin Murray is still ranked by the sanctioning bodies such as um where's he at the ibf and the wbo so he still has a nice you know a uh, chance to make a nice little run maybe against maybe a spike o'sullivan you know on an undercard i don't know if he at this point in time can headline his own cards i don't know you know or if people are going to be interested to see a martin murray fight
But the fight was nasty. It was uh, a bunch of fucking uh, like low blows, especially some that wasn't counted. Um, Roberto Garcia was penalized. Also, you may remember him because he fought. Sh he was supposed to fight Sean Porter. Did he fight Sean Porter? I forgot what happened with that. I believe it was supposed to be. He was supposed to fight Sean Porter. He ended. I remember. Okay, I remember. Now he was supposed to fight Sean Porter. But it was something going on, and people were like, he couldn't make weight. Really, that was the issue behind the scenes. But anyway, moving on. I'm Teach True Controversy. This is Teach True Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Oh, he is not no 5'10 either. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.